Hello everyone and welcome to my guide for the achievement The Grateful Eight in Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. So first off, we're gonna start with a brand new game. I recommend if you've already played through the story to just use your character with your levels. And right at the beginning here, we are going to grab this shotgun on the ground and bring it with us for later. You can also go to the gun shop, but I would recommend just grabbing that, because why not? If you have completed the Saint achievement, you will receive this book in the safe room, and that will allow you to have infinite ammo, which is pretty nice in this achievement, because we're going to have to shoot a lot of survivors. Now, the reason I just killed Jeff and Natalie here is simply because Dead Rising has has a limit of eight survivors on the map at all times and so we are gonna have to go and kill every survivor that we don't need for this achievement now as you've seen here just pack up on some juice get a skateboard make your way to carlito let's use that shotgun here if brad can get out of the way and shoot carlito it has a very long range you might not know but the shotgun is basically the best weapon in the game and you can basically kill carlito here without even moving although he's trolling me here so i had to <laughs> go up here and finish him off but once you're done with carlito make your way over to alfresca and to the bathroom again if you don't have the infinite ammo book now is a good time to go to the gun shop and make sure you go to the gun shop and get some guns before 7 p.m or cletus will be there well unless you want to kill him but really you could just avoid him we're gonna time skip here all the way to 5 p.m the reason we do that is because survivors are going to spawn at 5 p.m and we need to get rid of them so as we make our way to the entrance plaza, we're gonna go upstairs and all the way to the in the closet store where Bill is hiding behind these boxes and we're gonna take care of him because he's not part of the achievement. So we're just gonna do that and then make our way back to Alfresca Plaza and take care of three other survivors. Now the first day is basically just killing survivors. For those who don't know, I've, I thought I would include it in this video. So here's Leah in the jewelry shop in Alfresca. We're just gonna shoot her. And then right across from her, there is another shop. I don't remember the name, but it's right here. We just break these barricades, make our way inside. And here we have Bert and Aaron. We're gonna shoot them as well and steal their cookies. Once that's done, we're gonna make our way back to the gym and time skip once again. We're gonna time skip all the way to 10 p.m. At 10, well, actually, you're gonna have a cutscene here at 7 p.m. That's normal, just let it play. Then resume time skipping up till 10 p.m. At 10 p.m., there's gonna be two new survivors who spawn in Wonderland Plaza, and we're also gonna have Adam the Clown that we also will have to fight, which is why we brought so many shotguns. So, first off, we're gonna go and kill Shinji and Yu because we don't need them. And then we're gonna make our way to the psychopath fight of Adam the Clown. Gonna take care of him if you're not familiar with his fight he does block pretty much every attack unless he's attacking or in doing another animation so for example if he's midair or if he's spinning around with his chainsaws or whatever then he can take damage but if he's not then he's just gonna block every shot you shoot him so it might take i don't know 30 bullets to take him down usually so you know so that red balloon here will stun him on the for some reason in my playthrough here it didn't quite work but yeah i kind of cheesed him here i just kind of found a spot where his knives couldn't touch me and kept shooting him which was nice but yeah once adam is taken care of we are then gonna go and save greg we just interact with the machine here. Not save him, but we're at least gonna unlock the shortcut that he does. So if you don't know, Greg actually unlocks you a shortcut in the bathroom in the first floor of Wonderland Plaza. Just may let him take you there. Then you're gonna teleport to Paradise Plaza and then teleport right back to Wonderland Plaza and take care of Greg because we don't need him anymore. Now we're gonna wait in front of the north plaza door until it's 11 p.m once 11 p.m hits we're gonna go and kill david afterwards we can make our way to the bathroom in north plaza which is right next to david and skip time until 7 a.m a little bit before 7 a.m i decided to make my way back to wonderland plaza once 7 a.m hits and you get the call then you can make your way to wonderland and now we're gonna go it's right next to where we killed adam the clown just now we're gonna go and take care of tonya and ross they are not needed for the achievement 
and then we are gonna make our way back to north plaza right afterwards we're gonna go back to the bathroom and skip time all the way to 8 a.m once it's 8 a.m you're gonna get a call about the machete fight which is the cliff psychopath fight we're gonna make our way to the hardware store in north plaza and take care of cliff he's actually very easy to kill especially with the mini chainsaw that adam the clown just gave us and once he goes into that vent here he will actually spawn back up on the shelves you can then use the shotgun to finish him off once cliff is dead we're gonna make our way just to the right uh coming out of the hardware store there's gonna be three survivors there's rich there's Josh and Barbara. We're gonna take care of all three of them as they are not needed. And then make our way back to the bathroom in North Plaza. I actually recommend saving your game here just in case because that's where things can actually start to mess up. As we're actually gonna start saving survivors for the achievement. After you saved, time skip all the way to 9am. At 9am we are gonna make our way to Alfresca. So from North Plaza, we can just make our way to Wonderland, from Wonderland to the food court, to the food court, to Alfresca. As you spawn into Alfresca, just to your left, there is a tool or hardware store or whatever. Gordon is hiding in here in the back. Just go ahead and take care of him as well. Once that's done, we're gonna go back to the gym in Alfresca and time skip to 11 a.m. At 11 a.m., we're gonna receive a call about someone in the sandwich shop in Paradise Plaza. So we're gonna make our way to the food court. And here, if you need uh, food items, there's a bunch of wine here you can grab. I recommend grabbing some because the survivors might get hurt and need some to uh, get their health back. After you packed up on food, make your way to the park and you're gonna have the convicts here, but just avoid them if you can. If you want to kill them, you also can, but work a little bit tight on, on time here. So unless you know how to kill them very fast, I would just recommend skateboarding past them, grabbing Sophie and making a run for it at Paradise Plaza. Once in Paradise Plaza, we're gonna go to the right and go straight to save Pamela and Heather. They're located at the Child's Play store and you just have to go and save Pamela first because she's surrounded by zombies and can die very fast if you don't go and save her straight away. And it's also pretty hard not to hit her, so try to use like a katana or something that hits like one zombie at a time and maybe use some of the skill moves to get rid of the zombies instead of just you know going in there with a chainsaw and killing her by accident or whatever so just make sure you're careful and give her some food after you saved her after you saved pamela we're gonna make our way to heather which is actually inside the store and we're gonna save her as well once we have the two survivors we are gonna make our way to the jill sandwich restaurant where ronald is here and we're gonna take care of him because we don't need him anymore and also be careful here because the survivors will get attacked most likely and making their way to the restaurant so keep an eye on them make sure you heal them make sure you protect them they cannot hold weapons so make sure that you're careful with these three survivors as they cannot really defend themselves if you're not around make your way to the bathroom and tell them to stay there you can go up on the second floor and stack up on orange juice there's an infinite supply up there and now we're gonna go and Time skip to 12 p.m. We're then gonna use the shortcut to go back to Wonderland Plaza and we're gonna make our way to the Joe bus fight and we're gonna tell our survivors to stay there. Although after the cutscene, they will start following you again. So right as, as this fight starts, you're gonna wanna shoot Joe to make sure that she stops attacking Kai and then make your way outside of the store and tell your survivors to go and stop following you again. Now, for some reason, when I went back in the store, Joe actually decided to get stuck in this corner here. I'm not sure why or how this happened, but um, I don't know. It's an interesting strategy that if <laughs> if I can find how to recreate uh, consistently, I'll let you know. But yeah, once you're done with the fight, make sure you check on your survivors outside. As you see here, Sophie was actually stuck in the staircase and almost got killed by zombies. So make sure you keep an eye on them and then go back up and save all four survivors that were held up by Joe. Once you have all seven girls, you go make your way to the Wonderland Plaza bathroom once again, and we are gonna wait until 1 p.m. Once uh, 1 p.m. hits, we're gonna take the shortcut back to Paradise Plaza. 
When you teleport back to Paradise Plaza, you will have the cutscene of the cult introduction and then make sure that you tell the survivors to stay behind and keep an eye on them because sometimes they can get stuck making their way to you. But be careful because your survivors are really stupid even though they're smarter in the remaster. They will just dive headfirst into the cult for some reason and almost get killed and especially if you have uh, an explosive one it's very risky so just be careful about that and then we're gonna go and save jennifer and there we go we had well actually i got the tour guide and the grateful eight achievement in one go and there it is we have saved eight female survivors at once in dead rising deluxe remaster granting us the grateful eight achievement if this video was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more dead rising content thanks a lot have a good day everybody and bye bye